You're alive? I, I, I mean, gee, well, that was quick. Doc said you'd be out for at least a week. Didn't expect you to be upright so soon, though. I'm glad to have you back. Really, I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, she's chief, I am now. I almost got to thinking you wouldn't wake up. I'd be leaving Good Springs without you. Nothing could keep us down, right? Not even bullets. Just like the Unstoppables. <laughs> you bet. Well, you sent me into town for supplies. You don't remember that? You said you were going to set up camp, but when I got back, you weren't there. I thought you'd split. Need another gun hand, huh? I'm all yours. You know, I've been thinking, you and me, we're like superheroes. Yeah, I'd be the rat, and you could be Dead Hand, my sidekick. Okay. Shoot. I mean, oh, sorry. Too soon? Well, I'm an okay cook, and I read every pre-war comic I could get my hands on, so... I guess that makes me a bit of a bookworm. I could have sworn I told you all that before. I don't know. You've seen the mole rats out here in the waste, right? Big chompers, bad attitude. One time, this wild dog wandered into our camp, me and the other boys, and he tried to bite me. So, I tried to bite him right back. And then after that, they started calling me mole rat. Big chompers, bad attitude. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. It's just... You got bonked pretty hard there, Chief, and you're not remembering some things from before. I'm just worried you don't remember your bodyguard, you know? Maybe you lost a step or two. Right, no, right, that, that makes sense. I'm just glad you're upright, and you still got a working gun hand. It's okay that you don't remember our adventures. Really, it is. Maybe they'll come back, you know? But I've been glad to have you back, man. Yeah, I could do that. Thanks. I feel a little better now. I guess we should get moving, huh? Yeah? It's uh, Winston. They call me Winston. Originally, we're from New Reno, but... Dad got to be in his bonnet to move south and start a Brahmin farm. And Mom, of course, was thrilled. Never really got along before, my folks. But the farm, the smells, Mom hated it. They fought every day. It got to be she'd use me as an excuse to go see some guy in town. A traitor from the hub. She was never gone too long. Then one day in the middle of the night, she left. Just a letter saying she couldn't take it anymore. It didn't take long after Mom left for Dad to lose it. I didn't realize how much she did to keep the farm running. Neither did my dad. That's about all I want to say about that. Thought about it, especially when travels take us by the hub, but I always seem to lose my nerve. Cold feet or whatever. I don't know what I'd say if I did find her, but she's probably not even there anymore, right? A while ago, the NCR put a bullet to him. Water poacher, which... As you know, it's just a mean way of saying we were dying of thirst. I was ten, and they plugged him like killing a feral ghoul. Called us water rats. When I saw what they did to my dad, something broke inside of me. It was like my head filled with bees. I could hear this drum inside of my chest. I had to get the heck out of there. I had to get the heck out of everywhere. So, I just ran. I ran until I didn't recognize anything. What saved me was a group of runaways like myself. Gave me food, water, shelter, and a new life. Look, 
I really hope you're not planning to work with the NCR, but I'm with you, no matter what you decide to do. Sure thing, Chief. I'll keep my wits about me. Hey. Today's specialty is giant roach meat with a side of glowing fungus. Oh, wait a sec. Okay, now you can look. What's up? Split up? Are you crazy? You'll get lost without me. Suit yourself. I've got some comic books to read anyway. We want to make things too easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> 